As a student, I've read a lot of time management books and tested out different strategies to see which ones are the must-haves and which ones are good to have but not necessarily compulsory. I needed a good time management system which had to tick three boxes. Number one, it shouldn't be time consuming to manage. Number two, it should be easy to maintain over the long term. And finally, it should be applicable anywhere. Two years ago, I was in the UK. Last year, I was in Nigeria. Now, currently, I'm in the US. Next year, I might be in Dubai. <laughs> so I needed something that is globally applicable. Now, over time, I developed a system that is made up of just three elements. And that's what we'll be talking about in this video. If you're new to this channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. My name is Zubi and I'm a data science PhD student here in the US. And on this channel, we explore the tips and the hacks that helps us live more meaningful and intentional lives. To manage your time effectively as a student, you need just three things. Although, honestly speaking, you should be able to get by with just two. But when I added the third one to my routine, I became proud of every minute of my day. All right, let's jump right in. The first thing you need is a calendar, specifically a digital one. This is always the first thing I advise people to do whenever they call me to say, ah, oh, they don't have enough time or they don't know where time is going to or they feel that 24 hours is not enough. So if you don't already use a calendar, you should start using one and it's pretty easy. It just consists of about three levels. At the first level, level one, you can add in your classes and make them repeat over the future weeks. To take it to a level higher, level two, you can add other meetings and engagements you have that have a fixed time schedule. For instance, weekly meetings with your supervisor or your advisor, church meetings, your study time, scheduled calls, gym time as well, etc. This is usually where I stop, but people take it a step further by planning every single minute of their day. So they block time for resting, for eating, for commuting, and all the likes. I don't do that on my calendar. The second thing you need is a commitment tracking system. When I read Redeeming Your Time, which is a book by Jordan Reno, he spoke about having one commitment tracking system. A CTS, which is like a short form for commitment tracking system, is just a place where you have all your commitments written down. Now, it's best done digitally, and I use Todoist for mine, although there are like several other apps out there which can also get the job done. By the way, if this video has been helpful so far, I would like to invite you to give the video a like. Please hit the like button below. It helps the video get promoted by the algorithm to other students that need to hear about time management. Thank you very much. Generally, all commitments should be written in your CTS and I can divide them into like three different buckets. The first is assignments and projects with deadlines. Secondly, random commitments and ideas that drop into your mind. So for instance, you might be brushing your teeth and you get an idea of hanging out this Friday. And, oh, wow, great. So you bring out your app and then you type it in. And finally, commitments that you make to other people. So you might be on a phone call and then you promise to send the document later and so you have to write it down so that you don't forget. I mostly use my phone to manage the app but I'm using my phone currently to record this video. So I'll share my laptop screen so that you see how it looks. Okay, so this is how my CTS looks. To do this, it's the same view on my phone actually. Um, inbox, which is like where the messages that Whenever you get the idea on the flyer and you type it in, the first place it goes to usually is inbox. So from inbox, you can now move it to like other projects that you have. Today are the things that have a due date of today. But then I have like four major projects categories. Um, professional this quarter, personal this quarter, professional someday, and personal someday. So under professional this quarter, you see something like data science, PhD, like, there are like several things here. And then Okay, some things I want to do. These are like some examples. Uh, I'd like to get some ideas. I got an idea, okay. Let me, how do I get ideas for like dissertation and what to do and some examples. So there's the guy I want to speak to on it. And then there's the paper I want to read and like some other things I want to check out. Okay, see a training here, KRC training with the due dates of December 1st. On that press now, I also have quite a number of sections, books, single actions, courses, housing, gettings, plannings. Friends projects, birthdays, connections, productivity, fun projects as well. Um, 
then okay, there's also a someday so not this quarter someday some of them are even like years into the future i'll show you one and then there's a personal someday as well family books housing cars finances passion projects friend projects birthdays fun projects all right so i want to show you the fun project 30th birthday celebration i just turned like 27 last week so <laughs> 30 years is still like three years into the future but i have it down here and i also want to watch a live game at stanford bridge because i'm a chelsea fan mm. so you have your calendar handling your events and your cts handling your task and commitments so you funnel from both of them into your daily planner which is the third thing that you need and your daily planner has a list of tasks you want to accomplish on that day and it also has a rundown of how your day should look like although that might not be how your day will finally go now there's a very good quote from the white eisenhower who was a military general and later became the 34th president of the united states he said i tell you this story to illustrate the truth of the statement i heard long ago in the army plans are worthless but planning is everything the concept of this quote is that you need to plan know your priorities and the strategies you want to use to achieve them but then in the face of reality the plan might not work so you can pivot while still making sure your priorities are met so for instance you might have planned your day and then you receive a very important call that lasts for about two hours which was not initially in your plan so you can readjust the rest of your schedule to make sure your priorities are still met by the way, I share this kind of quotes and productivity hacks in my weekly newsletter, The Growth Hive, that goes out every Friday. It's a five-minute read with applicable insights straight to your inbox. You can sign up for free by visiting the link bit.ly slash growth hyphen hive. Link in the description below. So I use the full focus planner, which has daily planners for just three months at a time. This is the student's copy. I've been following the company Full Focus for about four years now because I really like the leadership of the company. The daily pages have your daily big three, other tasks, and a time planner. So every morning, I pull up my calendar and to do this app, then fill my top three tasks for the day. I write my most important task in red. Then I also fill the time blocks for every hour. Having a planner isn't compulsory. You can achieve the same results with just a calendar and a commitment tracking system. However, you need to time block all the hours on your calendar and then prioritize your daily big three task on your CTS. I personally love having a physical book where I can see all the plans and everything I want to do that day. So that's why I use a physical planner. So after writing your top three tasks for the day, a lot of people still procrastinate to get started. There are four ways you can use to beat procrastination permanently and then you can check them out here thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already just hit the subscribe button below i'll see you in the next one bye